She's like, yeah, you're pregnant. You give me a vibe and a feeling Like one I won't ever see again This music, like I said, she won't hear me Like one I won't ever see again Hello, hello, my queens and kings. It's your girl, Maru and Nikki, back again, time and time again, with another video. So, I'm back like I never left, okay? I was off the grid for a little bit because my birthday was on June 3rd, and I believe the whole month belongs to me, so I was wilding for these past two weekends, but y'all, I'm back. I promise you I'm back, okay? Your girl's looking better than ever. I age like wine, you Hey, you already know what I'm back with and that's another what? Story time, okay? So before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and push the post notification bell. Hit the one, two, boom, boom, boom. Three across the board. And make sure you comment during this video your opinions, your thoughts, all the la 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 because I won't know if you like the video if you don't say nothing. Also, don't forget to follow your girl on Instagram because I'm kind of cute on Instagram or whatever. Or don't follow me. You don't have to. Be a part of the losing team, I guess. Let's get into it because you know what I don't like to do when that's what? Waste time. Let me tell you about this story time because I promise you I remember this shit like it was yesterday, okay? This story time was just like the title said, my plan B fail. Huh? Because I thought I was doing something, y'all, back in the day. I thought I was doing something. So let me give you the background story so you can understand why I felt the way I felt in a moment. I was messing with this boy, okay? Lord knows that was a complicated situation in itself. But he and I were dating, and you know, I was giving up the nookie, giving up the cookie. I don't know what it was, but as we were going along, we weren't feeling condoms. We just kept ending up getting caught up in the moment and just keep raw diggity dogging, okay? But I just want to put this out there that before we even engage in that type of activity, we both got tested, and I was present for him getting tested because, you know, I got to make sure what it is is what it really is, and I got to see the results myself coming fresh out the doctor's hand, okay? Everything was good on our end. This man and I, we, he was, you know, he was beating the cheeks. He was beating the cheeks with no strap. You feel me? He ain't wrap it up. He was getting silly and not rapping here with him. There was not really no problem with it because he was still pulling out, but you know, you always gotta be careful. So y'all, I will say this. During that month, I was popping plan Bs like Tic Tacs, okay? I'ma be honest. Every time he tried to slide up in there, I said, do you have enough money to provide this plan B? And he was like, I got you. And then we just did what we did, y'all. The month this situation took place, I think I had taken three plan Bs that month. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb, huh? I was knocking them bitches back, bro. I'm not even joking. And then I realized in my mind, I'm like, okay, this is too much. There is no reason why I should be taking plan Bs like this. And I need to just go on birth control. Like, just go on birth control. It's more cost efficient, like, you, you're doing a lot right now, just ease up. So I told him, look, clearly this is not gonna stop. We're just gonna keep doing what we do. So I might as well go see the doctor and do that. So I made the appointment to go to the doctor. Now y'all, I don't know how this took place. I really don't know how this took place because I promise you it, don't, it didn't add up to me. I had just got off my period and I went to the doctor several days later and I told the doctor that I needed to take birth control. So she was like, okay, yeah, that's fine, but you know, we just gotta do a pregnancy test real quick to make sure you're good, and then we'll get you started on the birth control right away. So I was like, all right, it's nothing. Like, I'm not pregnant, so I just got off my period. I'm not even worried about that. I pissed up in a cup, wrapped it up. I'm singing to myself. I'm like, yeah, let's get it out the way. I'm over here putting it through the little cubby hole, and I just go back. And y'all, I promise you, I was in the doctor's office, just laid out on the table, living my best life on my phone. I was talking to my boyfriend. I'm like, yeah, she got me taking this dumbass pregnancy test, but you know, you gotta get that out the way before you do that. But I'm gonna be on birth control real soon. So I'm talking hot shit. I'm talking spicy on the phone. You know how doctors be having you waiting for a mad long, and you just sitting around, and they, I was. I'd be feeling like they're not doing nothing. I'm not even gonna sit here and tell you no lie. For a quick second, the thought of me potentially being pregnant creeped up in my head. I was like, imagine if I actually got pregnant. And then my other personality was like, <coughs> psych, you thought, bitch, like, go sit down somewhere. <laughs> you thought. You've been popping them plan Bs. Boop, 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 boop. You've been popping them plan Bs, baby. 
Like they were Altoids. Don't even worry about it. You good over here. You just had your period. Like cut it out. Stop trying to think like that. Don't try to manifest that stupid ass shit. So I'm sitting like, all right, let me calm down. Stop thinking like that. So I got rid of that thought so fast. But I'm sitting there. I'm laying back. I'm on my phone. I'm watching videos. I'm doing whatever. So in comes the doctor. She knocks on the door. She enters. She was like, all right, well, congratulations. When she said congratulations, I was like, thank you. Like, I guess. Cause I'm thinking we were on the same page. I thought we was, we was one and one. She's like, yeah, you're pregnant. I'm what? She's like, you're pregnant. Congrats. I'm my bitch. I know you fucking lying. I said, how am I pregnant? She was just like, the test came back positive. So she shows me the little results paper and y'all, my heart was down in my asshole. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to y'all. You know I'm transparent. First thought I had in my head was abort, 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 abort. Huh? Like, yo. I know that I tried to take the preventative measures, but I didn't take I honestly, obviously I didn't take great preventative measures, but I took preventative measures though. Yo, my jaw was to the ground. She's happy for me and I'm upset. And she starts to feel like, okay, this was not the right thing to say. So her smile is slowly like fading, but I'm thinking to myself, you should have never came in here smiling in the first place. Why are you smiling? There's nothing funny right now. There's nothing funny going on right now. Why are you smiling? Why do I should smack you in, I should deck you in your face. I clearly don't want babies, hence why I'm asking for birth control, bitch. I don't understand what's so congratulatory about this. This is a problem we have on our hands right now, and I gotta explain to this little skinny long neck boy that he got me pregnant. So now my whole world is upside down, cause I'm sitting here like, so I can't go on birth control because I'm definitely pregnant. Wow. So many questions was going through my mind, but my real question was, does my insurance cover what I'm about to go through? Because I cannot have this. I cannot keep this. In my head, I was just sitting there like thinking to myself, like, how am I gonna explain this to this man? Because I don't see myself having a kid for him. Like, he could not be my baby daddy. Like, no, like, I don't want him to be my baby father. Like, are you crazy? Like, ugh. You don't have it all the way together, baby. You was just a moment. You wasn't for a lifetime. Whoo, I was here for a good time, not a long time. I was really fucked up. So when she just said like, yeah, I can't write you a prescription, you're pregnant, you won't be able to take birth control. And I'm just listening to her talk. And I promise you, like, I wasn't even hearing her no more. I wasn't hearing her no more because I'm thinking to myself, how the fuck am I going to freak this? I got to tell my mom. I got to tell him. His parents already don't like me. That's another story time in itself. And I'm not feeling his family. So what we about to do? Because we got quite a dilemma on our hands. Oh, we got a dilemma. <laughs> when I told this man, he didn't even believe me. I had to go all the way over to him with the test results from the doctor. This ain't no piss on a stick. This is a real deal, holy feel pregnancy test. And when he saw the paper itself and actually saw the results from the doctor, it all became real for him. And y'all, I think I need to make a separate story time about that because I promise you, that was a nightmare. Being pregnant for that man was a nightmare. It was something that I will never forget to this day. Unfortunately, I did end up having a miscarriage. And when I do talk about that story time, y'all gonna understand why I'm saying what I'm saying right now because being pregnant for that man was definitely actually a nightmare. His family was so terrible to me. Like, I just gotta put y'all on. There's so many story times that I have to give you so that you can understand some of the other story times and why they were so intense. But yeah, y'all, don't worry because we got plenty of time together, okay? I'm gonna give y'all all the tea. I hope that you enjoyed this story time. And let me know if you want part two about the rest of this and how that went because I will gladly tell you. <laughs> um, so my queens and kings, I wanna thank you, thank you, thank you if you're still here for watching, and I will see you in my next video. So you know what I want you to do, and that's what? Stay blessed and stay royal. Bye-bye.